What's going on, friends? I'm feeling a little not so cute today. Look at me. It is the Monday after daylight savings started. I'm really feeling that one hour loss. It feels like way more than just an hour lost. I'm kind of speaking kind of low because I don't even have energy to speak of. <sighs> Over the weekend, I actually had a few bug bites on my face. And then I tried some new skincare products last night and I think um, there's some itchiness around my eye because I know those aren't bug bites. It's kind of itchy here, here. This one's new. I'm just not feeling cute and I wanted to put on some makeup today, put on some cute clothes. This is, it's so cold. It's been so cold that I'm sleeping with my Uniqlo fluffy fleece because this thing is so warm. But um, I want to put on some cute clothes, do my face for you guys, show you the products that I've been loving recently. So let's just get started. First, we're definitely going to need to conceal some things. I'm not going to you know try to conceal everything because we're just chilling at home today but my new favorite concealer is the l'oreal true match concealer i think it's just perfect just to make me look alive and um hide some spots because it, it almost it's like almost like my skin color so i think it'll be a good color for me when the summer months come it is a super lightweight concealer it comes in this squeezy tube you see how the color isn't Super brightening, almost like matches my skin tone. I've been having some um, dry patches under just this eye, but when I use this concealer, it doesn't highlight the, the little dry patches. I love it. I find that it works best when you use your fingers. It's not the most high coverage, but I think it gives me just enough, just enough coverage for my leggings. We're gonna tackle some of these red spots. <laughs> I got one here, one here, right near my eye, a little bit on my nose, and around the nose. I would be okay with this, but if I wanted to go in with a heavier concealer, I go back to my trusty e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. Even though it's called hydrating camo, I don't think it's that, it's that hydrating, but it does a really good job of um, covering because it is a little bit of a thicker formula. Thicker formula. So I think this one might need a little help. If I ever felt like I needed some more uh, concealer under the eyes, I take just a tiny bit and then I would put it in the shadows over here, not all the way up to the lash line like I would the previous concealer. I'm just gonna let my natural skin shine through just because you know most of it is good most of the skin is nice and hydrated and doing well we just got a little trouble spots here and there it's okay it's okay my favorite powder currently is the mentos and innisfree collaboration powder this one smells like melon the innisfree powder is a super fine powder so I like using it because it never feels cakey and heavy. Next, we're going to move into brows. My brow routine has not changed. I still use the Anastasia Dip Brow, and then I'll go back into it with a pencil just to give it more definition. The one I'm currently using is from Tony Moly. Okay, moving on to the eyeshadows. I've been loving the Fenty little snap shadows. I got two colors in number three and five. This one, the number five, is more orangey color story. This one is more of the reddish, pinkish, darker tones, number three. I use both because I like that there is a darker color here, but um, I just love more orangey, peachy colors on my skin tone. I'm just gonna take one fluffy brush. I don't even change the brushes between uh, the color use because I'm so lazy. <laughs> I'm just so lazy. Okay, I'm just gonna take this center color right here and put it all over the lid. Kind of focusing it in the um, where the crease would be right here. Just sweep it across the lid. The colors blend so nicely 
and I feel like they last pretty long on the eyes especially when I use the darker color as um, a little bit of a liner I think that color stays really nicely next I'm gonna go into the shimmer shade right in the center on top here and I'm gonna put that on the lid that is closer to the lash line all over I'm gonna take this uh, deeper orange color right here and then put it on the outer half of the eyes as well as bringing that down to the lower lash line. And literally with the same brush that we've been working with, I'm gonna take the color over here, the lightest shimmer color. I'm gonna put that in the inner corners Right here and on the lower lash line, just with the corner of this brush. Now we're gonna move into the other uh, Fenty palette. I'm gonna use the darkest color on here, in here, and I'm gonna create a little bit of a liner. I wasn't too particularly uh, neat because I will be putting on uh, lashes and I'll be using a liquid liner so that's just there for um, some depth and dimension you might not even see it with the lashes on but I just put it there just in case so moving on to the lashes this is going to be the lash that I'll be using today this one is from Glam House this is the most natural one it is called Effortless this one's really cute for just when you want to you know, spruce up your eyes a little bit the House of Lashes glue is my go-to choice right now. I also have a pair of tweezers to help me. So how I usually apply my lashes is I uh, put the glue on the band, really making sure to focus on the edges because the glue or the lashes tend to lift at the corners first, so on the outer and the inner corners of your lash. So make sure you really glue that up well. And a lot of people, uh, when they put their lashes on, put it uh, from the center and then reposition each side. But what I do, let this dry for a little bit. I actually hold the lashes at the outer corner and then put the inner corner down first. I feel like it gives me most the most control because if I try to do the center first, I feel like the edges just kind of flick everywhere and I, I, I don't have control over my lashes yet. So I put the inner corner down first, so at least I have like half of it or like a third of it down and then I'll take my tweezers and position it position it in place. I am not an expert, but I put on lashes way quicker nowadays because I've been having a little bit more practice. Also, when you just have a good quality lash, I think it really helps you because the band is comfortable and easy to work with. So for my particular eye shape, my um, the outer corner of my eyes kind of drew down, drooped down a little bit. So I tend to put the lashes just a little bit above my natural uh, lash line, just so it kind of gives it a cat eye effect. Whatever um, lid or skin is exposed right underneath the lash, I will be filling it in with a liquid liner. Glam House also has a lash applicator if you want to get that. The tweezers, your personal tweezers can have, um, they're made really sharp and they have really sharp edges. So if you don't want to get that near your eye because you're afraid it might poke you, the Glam House lash applicator has rounded edges. So um, if you accidentally uh, hit yourself, it won't be as painful. Let's finish up this eye routine eyelash routine with a bit of a pencil liner. This one is ColourPop Swerve. I use this to waterline the upper part of my lash line. And then I'll go in with Fenty's black liquid liner to fill in the space that is exposed on my lid right beneath the falsies and my right on top of my natural lash line. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but see how this one is nice and blackened out. This one you can still see my waterline and a bit of my lash line. Since I didn't put any foundation or concealer around the perimeter of my forehead, I feel like the color there kind of gives it like a natural bronzing, but I will go in with some bronzer for the cheek area. Looks like the sun is coming out. 
Next up is blush. This one is called Bundled Up from ColourPop. It is the Hello Kitty one. Super cute. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it. So I like using this when I'm not planning to wear any highlight. Because it's kind of like a two-in-one. And the last thing is going to be the lips. This is my newest ColourPop lippy. It is called CA Love. It is the Velvet Blur formula. It's like a nice um, deep brownish, reddish pink, uh, nudie, nudie brownish. I don't even know how to describe colors, but it is like a nice your lips but better color, right? It is very nicely pigmented, so that's why I only uh, dab it in the center a little bit and then use my fingers to spread it out. And there we have the finished makeup look. I'm looking real cute. A lot better than earlier. I'm feeling a little bit better than earlier. I am going to do my hair. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I did chop off like probably three or three and a half inches of my hair about, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. But this is freshly washed hair. It is kind of crinkly and crumply because I fell asleep with it when it was still a little wet. I couldn't wait for it to dry anymore. So I'm gonna go straighten out my hair, put on a really cute shirt, and come back with you guys and finish this up. I zoomed you guys out a little bit to finish this off. Here I am with my hair a little straighter. Ever since I cut my hair short, straight is just so chic and sleek. And honestly, it is the easiest style to do because you know, it's just simple. This is a new top that I got in. I'm really into nudes right now. I'll put the name of the shop here. She is a small business in the Bay Area, so please support her stuff. It's super cute. I can't wait to have a chance to wear this out because I realized I didn't have any like long sleeves that were cute and uh, it's kind of a cropped that. I'm wearing sweats under, so I'm not gonna show you guys my pants, but um, <laughs> yes, I love this top. Isn't it super cute? It's a little flirty and sexy without showing off too much. I hope you guys had fun. This was just a little bit of a therapy session for me. Kind of putting on makeup, taking my time, not feeling rushed to go anywhere, putting on a cute new top. Just kind of feeling myself. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, thanks for watching. Bye.